Hey, what is up, guys? DPX, welcome back to another episode of Chill with the Meekast. Today we're doing something a little different. It's a uh, pre-recorded episode, all right? And uh, we just did one last week, so oh, well, this one's going up a little early. Well, we are here to celebrate the Switch's what sixth anniversary? Crazy. Yeah, six years. Crazy that. Uh... Like, I actually remember the Switch coming out. Like, I remember the hype behind that. And it was... It's honestly crazy that that was six years ago. But, yeah, um... We are doing a tier list of every single Nintendo Switch console, first party, and third party exclusive. Uh, some of these did... Some of these are ports. You know, uh, like... You know, you got the Wii U games. Uh, Bayonetta 3, or Bayonetta 2 is not on here, which is interesting. Um, and, uh... I say that, but I actually did make this list, but, um, and, uh, but all other games like, uh, No More Heroes 3 or Octopath and Monster Hunter Rise, they came to other consoles later on, but they launched a Switch exclusive, so, we're here to rank these all, uh, I'm joined today by Greg, what's up, party people, and, uh, by Slash, hello, everyone, yeah, uh, Slash has some staticky noise that'll pop in and out every time he speaks. So if I'm you guys, friends with Pikachu. Yeah. Um, so anyways, we're just gonna get right into this because uh, this is gonna be a long one. Uh, starting off with One Two Switch, one of the launch titles. Um, I I I played this one for a uh, an episode of Solo Missions recently, and it got hated when it came out. I don't think it deserves that hate. I'm gonna put it in either C or D tier. Uh, anyone? I'd like to say D tier, honestly, because I think it should have been packed in with the console at yeah. least. Yeah. Uh, what do so you we're think? Saying, we're saying D tier? I guess, yeah. Honestly, if I'm being real. Like, I'm you and I had fun with it, so. I, well, yeah, I, I mean, it is yeah, fun, yeah. but only for a short amount of time, really. Yeah. Um, How much does this game cost? <clears throat> $50. I mean, yeah, I bought it for like. $50 at launch. I bought it for like 10 <clears throat> but like, retail. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm I'm thinking maybe even E tier because if we're being honest, it's just a bunch of quick. Well, uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's very mid. It's not very innovative in any way. It's cheap. It's I don't know. It can be fun, but I feel like I feel we like can if go it's D. I feel like if it's I fun, think. then it, it it should be at least D. Yeah, well, any game can be fun. Working, I guess. <laughs> Animal Crossing: New Horizons. I would have to probably put that in S or an A, honestly. Yeah, uh, the, the some of the thinking. updates, like the weird, there was like kind of a weird journey of updates throughout the years, uh, but like, I guess it, I guess the timing of the release of this game really did it some favors, like releasing yeah. releasing during the pandemic, where it's like, you know, it was an escape for so many people, and like, it was basically a life simulator where people. And where people couldn't really enjoy life, they can enjoy this where they can imagine themselves enjoying life. Um, I think I'm gonna give it. I don't know, Greg. What do you think? And I'll ask Slash after. Mm. Don't worry. Probably, probably an S tier, honestly. All right, uh, Slash. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, I want to give it an S because I feel like it's a lot of fun and stuff. But I also feel like. Maybe it's more deserving of an A, but I had a lot of fun with it personally. So I'm kind of leaning towards S, but I feel like it's uh, more deserving of an A. We'll put it in an S, because th this did, like, it, it was a pretty big deal, and it was great for when it came out. Um, and this showed us that uh, Isabel and Doomguy are friends. Anyways, um, ARMS! Remember, remember when Nintendo was trying to push ARMS as their new, like, IP? And then for a little while, like, they brought it back and tried pushing it again as their new IP. But that kind of blew up in their face. I don't know about that, really. But, like, I, I'd say ARMS is a C tier, you know? The Agreed. joke is no Agreed. one cares about ARMS. But, like, it's not that bad, like, the first time you play it. But, like, there's not much really there to keep you playing. So, I say C, uh, Greg says C, Slash, what do you think? Yeah, it's very mid. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so C it is, I guess. Astral Chain. This game... I haven't been meant to play this one, honestly. This... I've heard I've, really good things. I, I, I think... I'm the only one of the three of us who has played this game, right? 
Yeah, I mean, I could make a hypothetical rating, honestly, because it, then again, it's Platinum Games. All right, well, I know where I think. I think either A or S. Yeah, I could agree with you on that, honestly. Platinum. I haven't played it. I know, I've said a hypothetical. Okay, well... I think based um, on, like, looking and stuff. I'm gonna... Uh, I, I don't know, it's... I feel like A is too low, but I also feel like S is too high. I don't, I'm gonna give an A, but maybe like a high A. Air. I'm also gonna give an A to Bayonetta 3, unless either of you have anything to say. I have yet to play, I have a copy though. But I, I can agree Bayonetta. with you. <laughs> yeah, Slash is canonically Bayonetta at the yeah, same time. Um, you know, this game was really good. It had... Like, the, the the story was a little eh, but the new mechanics, I thought, really worked well. And yeah, definitely an A tier. Uh, Box Boy and Box Girl. I forgot they made a Box Boy game for the Switch, and I haven't played it. Either of you play this game? Nope. Nope. Obviously, you know I didn't play that game. Okay. Unfortunately. Cadence of Hyrule. This is a weird one. Like, it's a, it's, it's a crossover... Between Zelda and Crypt of the Necrodancer. Um, Necromancer. It's Necrodancer, but uh, I, I'm thinking either a, ba a B or an A. Anybody? Like, yet I've yet to play, but I could see it being like fit there. Okay. Um, I I'm gonna give it a B, unless slash. I played it at my aunt's house. No, I'm just kidding. Are you, sh are you sure? Yeah, I was about to say. Are you sure about that? Yeah. And my friend is playing Bug Snacks. How neat! Bug Snacks. Okay. Um, this is <laughs> doesn't doesn't relate. Captain um, Toad. Captain Hunger. Toad Treasure Tracker. This is a port from the Wii U. Uh, I included this one here though because they added some new levels, some Mario Odyssey levels. But I actually have not played this version of the game. Um, I tried the demo, but I haven't played. Ah, uh, you, you you can decide where it goes, Greg. Unless Slash has played this version of the game. I haven't. Pl right. I mean, I feel like if it's just a port, then I feel like if we play the Wii U version, we can sort of guesstimate. Yeah, like the Wii U version is like a solid, like whatever. Honestly, maybe like a C or B. I'd say like B. Honestly, I guess. I feel like it's fine, but it's nothing like crazy. It's yeah. like fun. It's like it's not something I would make a game out of. It's like a fun little puzzle that you can put in a game. Yeah. But it's not. Yeah, Maybe not I mean, C tier because it's not like it's not on the same level as Arms, um, but yeah, I think B is appropriate for oh, Captain, Captain Toad. Toad for Smash. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, um, be an Echo Fighter for Captain Falcon. <laughs> yeah, some proport some proportions might be a bit of an issue there, but yeah, I'm I'm going for that. Um, Clubhouse Games, 51 Worldwide Classics. I did oh not play God. this game. I oh, really wanted to. I really wanted to when it came out though. This game made my friend become an addict to like Texas Hold'em and like all those card games. Yeah. Don't even get started about fucking this Slash, game. have you played this game? I've sort of played it a little bit. Not like I mean I've I was at a friend's house and he had this game. We played. We, he was like, "Let's go through all 51." And I was like, "Okay." And then I uh, he he forced you through all 51 games. And, and wow. I hate this game now. So, but that aside, um, where would you put it? F. I'm just kidding. Um, I feel like it's 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 decent for what it tries to do. It's nothing crazy. It's not it's not super expensive when I'm from, from what I remember, right? It's like twenty bucks. Yeah, it was cheap. I don't remember how much it was, but yeah, I think it was um, like forty dollars. It was forty dollars I mean, for what it was. Oh, it was forty? Yeah. I thought it was twenty. Oof. Um, maybe that's that's probably a C then or a D. Yeah. It's AC tier, honestly. Yeah, yeah I feel like thing. it's not worth it. For It's like, if you want to play chess or checkers and fucking hopscotch that badly, just go do it outside, you know? That's all, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. All right. Ne uh, this is title. the collection of mana. Uh, yeah, believe it or not, this, uh, uh, th this collection of mana is only on the Switch. So this popped and up. And I have right. a copy. <laughs> haven't yeah, played. Um, I don't know. It's, I don't actually have this... Uh, game but like you know i played the the uh mana games especially you know secret of mana magnificent game um and i'd say this is a solid collection from if i were to just guess but uh oh i'd say maybe a b just because of the games involved anyone wanna that sounds accurate honestly all right slash 
the games are good, then the collection has to be at least okay, right? I yeah, mean, unless they like butcher. Next them. up is Do is Don Kong. Yeah, the, with with the, the new, new funky mode. <laughs> yep. Don um, Kong. Now this, I remember this game was very controversial when because it was like sixty dollars because all it added was a new funky mode and uh, the the Wii U game was fifty dollars. Uh, even though there are other Wii U games that, that got ported to Switch that were originally $50 that are now 60 and they weren't that controversial. Um, but Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is a fantastic game. Um, I'm not, I'm, I don't know if, uh, a new funky mode, you know, Funky Kong does add an easy mode to this game and this game is pretty difficult. Uh, I'd say... I would want to give it an A because it's Tropical Freeze, but I think since it's just a port... A B is yeah, fine. a B is acceptable, bro. But Funky Kong, Funky yeah. Mode, bro. I've actually and... played this game. Oh, you have? It's great. Yeah, it's pretty uh, cool. Do you agree with B tier? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. You see what I did there? It's cool. Uh, uh -huh. um, and me. Brain Age. I have not played. What? None of us have played this one because it was only released in Japan and Europe. Oh, really? Bro, yeah, I'll the Switch on... one was not released in America. What are you going to say, Slash? Go so DPX, you know what we have to do, right? What? Go to Japan. <laughs> no, we, I we can just smuggle them all over we here. Can, we can import this from Japan. You under, <laughs> yeah, like the, the Switch is, is not region lock. So. I'm, I was kidding. Yeah, but yeah was, we'll, we'll go to Japan just to play Brain Age. But, yeah, yeah. I was, can't we just like NordVPN that shit, though? <laughs> like. um, next up, Dragon Quest Treasures. I also have not played this. Same, not yet. Soon. Wow, well, we're really uncultured over here. Yeah. All right. Famicom now. Detective Club. Oh, this is a interesting one. You know, they they took like these visual novels from the Famicom and they remade them and localized them as well on the Nintendo eShop. Unfortunately, I have not played them either. Um, anyone else play these games? Nope, not yet. I, I, I say I, these. They games, are available though. I I say these games because it is. From what I know, it seems to be two games, but it's it's sort of like a Pokemon sort of thing where it's like kind of two of the same game. Slash, I'm uh, assuming you have not played this. I need to make a Detective Pikachu game, but no, I haven't played it. Dude, they've been Detective Pikachu two is apparently like just been in the works, and they haven't canceled it or anything. Yeah, they didn't even reveal it today. Pokemon Day makes no sense. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, I uh, haven't played. I guess it goes under. Uh, one of the characters from this game was actually originally. Uh, considered for uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee, which is crazy. You know, if that character came, w went in, Famicom Detective Club would have a much different pop culture preference. Uh, preference, prop pop culture presence. You know what I mean? Yeah. Prominent. Like Fire Emblem. Yeah. Um, Fast RMX, kind of like uh, the spiritual successor to F Zero. Uh, this game's fine. I give it a solid B. Anyone play this game? Good enough. I haven't, but it sounds good enough with the rating. It, sir. All right, Fire Emblem Engage. We're getting into the Fire Emblems now. Uh, All right, this one gets a honestly an A. An A, yeah. Like if, it feels good for beginners if, like, if you want to get into the series. Yeah, I'm not that big of a Fire Emblem fan. Like, this is what only like one of three Fire Emblem games I, like, I actually played. The other two being Three Houses and Awakening. Um, but like, I get a sense of like like what's the word fan service i guess with all the um you know other emblems and uh yeah it's also very beginner friendly and the story's a little weird and the character designs are vtubery and obviously there's a reason for that um but yeah it's a really solid game uh greg uh i could I agree with you on that Honestly, thank you, Mika Picasso, for making great artwork. Well, what a fucking... You know the exact name of the VTuber, but, uh... That's so, not a VTuber, that's the artist. Holy shit. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You see what I mean, guys? Anyways, uh, Slash, thoughts? Uh, you've not played... Uh, I like Fire Emblem, so yeah, we're okay. good. But if Engage is an A, I think Three Houses is an S. This one did something completely different with Fire Emblem. It, like, three different stories, and there's just... This game, there's a lot to this game. It's a, it's great. Any Anyone uh, disagree? Anyone? I don't think so. 
Agreed. Agree. Okay. Fire Emblem uh, Warriors Three Hopes. Uh, I have not played this. Any of you play this? I have a copy. Haven't played. Slash. It was a birthday gift. You have not played it. Right? I have not. Is this alphabetical? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, I figure. Uh, Greg, you got it for your birthday and you haven't played it? That's not a good I'm gonna soon. It's <laughs> in time, you know? I oh, hope shit. whoever I hope whoever got you that is watching this. Yeah. Uh, Greg does not appreciate your gift. He's <laughs> <laughs> my favorite, don't worry. Well, uh, then there's the original Fire Emblem Wars, which, yeah, I mean, it was on the new 3DS as well, so it's not Switch exclusive, but no one... I bet you nobody picked it up on the new 3DS. Uh, but I no. have not played this game. Uh, I haven't and, played it either. And Slash, you... No, I haven't. Okay. Um, Golf Story. This game is like... This game was a surprise. Uh, I'm honestly... I, w I want to give it a B tier because this game should... It has no business being as good as it is. It's like a golf... It's an RPG. But like, it's about golf. It's really interesting and really cool. Uh, anyone thoughts? I haven't played, but I can see know that's like a good is. game. Well, I just explained what it is, but uh. Well, I know what it is, but like I don't know what it is. Yeah. You know? Okay. Um, Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. I don't have this game, but I have played it uh at a friend's house. Damn. Honestly, an A tier, really, when you really? think about it. Okay. I think it's. Mm. Well, no, this isn't the original Hyrule War. This is Age of Calamity. They made a... Yeah, uh, I'm aware. Yeah, um, I was telling Slash. Uh, okay, okay. And uh, story-wise, like, the story is very... The story's probably the best part of this game, you know? It's, like, what, a hundred years before Breath of the Wild? Uh, I like how it ties into stuff and shit. Yeah, uh, well, the other... The, fire, the Three Hopes, the Fireman Warriors game does that, too, so... I guess that's just a thing now where they uh, take a certain, um, a, like a specific game in a specific franchise and make a sequel or prequel to it with a Warriors style game. So yeah, um, I guess that's good enough. Uh, Hyrule Warriors, the original, but definitive edition. Now look, I'm going to say something that's not popular and, uh, and uh, Age of Calamity is only an A because... Uh, I'm not the only one here. Look, Hyrule Warriors, I think, there's a, especially with Definitive Edition, is there's a lot of content there. You get everything from the Wii, all the DLC. I'm just not the biggest fan of Warriors games, really. I just don't... like. I don't, it just seems like it's a hack-and-slash game where you just beat up hordes of enemies, then you beat up more hordes of enemies, then you beat up more and more, but this time with a Zelda reskin. That's just what I think, uh, Greg. What do you think? I would, since it's really, in a sense, kind of like a port, I give it a B. Okay. Um, uh, slash. What do you think? I was, I was thinking probably B as well. Okay. Real. Next up, I kind of include this one as a bit of a joke: the jump rope challenge. This AKA is okay. The game that made me reboot my channel for a shit post. You what? Literally, this was the game that made me want to reboot my channel. You rebooted your... Um, we'll talk about this off-camera, I guess, but, um... I think he means, like, he just started posting again. <laughs> yeah, when's that happening? We needed this game to come out again? Anyways, um... <laughs> uh, Jump Rope Challenge. It's a perfectly fine whatever game. I'm gonna give it a C tier, because... Sounds about right, honestly. Yeah. Kirby Star Allies. Honestly, I th I was pretty high on this game when it first came out, but honestly, like, I'm, I'm thinking a D. That's just what I think. I, I I know I placed it in D, but I can move it if you guys want. But slash, uh, I figure I ask you first this time. But uh, you have not. Have you played this game? The Kirby moment. I don't think so. No. Uh, Greg. I played through it like the campaign 100%. My god, it is so freaking easy. It, that's the th it's so easy. This is when I realized I started to realize like Kirby's just it's too easy and it's too Kirby? short to be $60, you know. Kirby's just invincible yeah. if you're not like an idiot. Nah, I beat this with 100 plus lives, please, and no game overs. Yeah. Um now on the other 
side of the spectrum. Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Now, it is still very easy and it is still very short, but they at least do something different. And I think what they do differently actually, like, makes it kind of worth it. And I want to... Hmm... I'm going to give it an A. Yeah, I can agree like, with you on how that. how controversial to me. I no no I I'm like I don't I don't know if it's like as good as a game like Astral Chain or Fire Emblem Engage, but like I I I like I really enjoyed this game. I played it a few times. It's it's just a delight all the way through. Uh, Greg slash any thoughts? I could agree. All right. Slash. I would go high B, but I respect it. Okay. Um, Kirby Fighters Two, the. Uh, Kirby Smash Bros. game, the sequel to the one of the 3DS that I bet you uh, nobody has played, but uh, they came out with this game, and it's perfectly fine. I'm going to give it a C, because it's a perfectly fine Smash clone. Uh, anyone, any thoughts? No thoughts, head empty. We can move on to the buffet, I guess, because I see the icon. <laughs> yep. Uh, I have not played Kirby's Dream Buffet. Fifteen dollars for this, like, and the game died on impact. Yeah, you want to talk about the game a little bit and say where you think it would go? I haven't played honestly. I don't care for it too much, honestly, since oh, so it feels like a waste of effort. So haven't played unless Slash has played it, right? No. Okay, so haven't played. I also have not played the recently released. This is probably the most recent of all the games on here. Kirby. Yeah, too recent, honestly. Uh, Kirby Return to Dreamland uh, DX. Maybe if ML was on here, he'd be able to rank. Yeah, it, but definitely. I don't even know if he's played I, it yet or not, but uh. Well, let's just put it there for now, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna put safe. it. In haven't played unless Slash has played it. No, I have not. <laughs> all right, live alive. Now. Live alive. I feel like I've made my opinion on this game known. And honestly, like, like, you guys haven't played this game, have you? It's in my reserve for whenever. But I know already you're going to probably put it really, really high. I'm going to put it in SS tier, I think. No, not SS tier. But I'm going to put it in S because I, I, I think I like this game more than most people. But, like, it's really just... I don't know, it's just, a, it's such a unique RPG, just taking a bunch of different stories, you know, one game is almost like a, uh, like a fighting game, one's, one ends with a giant kaiju fight, one is like, it turns into a horror movie, or a horror game, not a movie, but, uh, it, there's truly nothing else, I've, I haven't seen anything else quite like it, it's an RPG I can re recommend to non-RPG fans, it's, it's amazing, I just... There, there are some issues with that with this game, but I want to see a sequel. You know, this is a remake, to be fair. Like, this game was on the Super Famicom, but for me, it's a new game. I want to see a sequel, though. Uh, maybe with some new ideas, because that will be really cool. But, yeah. Well, they released Octopath 2, so it's possible. Yeah, live to live. But Octopath 1 wasn't a remake, though. But even Octopath, I, I kind of just realized Octopath and Live Alive are kind of... They have similar concepts, so... So yeah, that maybe who knows. Um, oh. Luigi's Mansion Three. Uh, I don't know, people seem to kind of forget about this game. I'm thinking but A. If you don't, it's an A. Yeah, it's an yeah. A. This game was like, uh, I kind of wish it came out a little bit before Halloween. I remember it came out on Halloween Day one year. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wish it came working. out before that because like now it's like oh, it's November. What am I doing playing this game? But. I think it's the best Luigi's Mansion game. Uh, better than the original. Better than Dark Moon. It's just so much fun. I just... It's spooky, but, like, not, you know, oh, that's... Not that scary. It has the Nintendo charm. And, yeah, uh, Greg, Slash, any thoughts? I agree with you with that. Yeah. Slash? Luigi. Yeah, Gooey. Oh, I love Gooey as well. That was a great like addition to the game. But yeah, and the multiplayer is a lot of fun as well. Um, oh yeah, the scar scraper multiplayer. Yeah, I was actually playing that with my little cousin once, and like I was trying to teach about a play. It was really fun. It was really cool. But yeah, uh, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I think. Um. <laughs> I think maybe S. Uh, what do you guys think? <laughs> 
Is that too high? Yeah, I can agree with you. I kind of feel like S Loki, yeah. This is a game that I bet It's you good, but it feels a little brutal with difficulty. It's very hard at points, yeah. Yeah, but it, fe it feels re rewarding when you end up, like, you know, beating the fights. It's... Oh, this, this crossover should not work. Why does Mario crossing over with the Rabbids in a fucking XCOM-style RPG work so well? You know? Yeah, it does work super well. And now we rate its sequel. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, I've, just a lot of people have kind of been hating on this game recently. I guess it didn't sell very well, which it, it didn't, but like, you know, I that's not a good reason to hate on it. It's... Originally, I thought this was better than the original, but I don't think it's better. I still think it's really good. It, t it got rid of, like, the grid-based gameplay, so it's now a little more generic, but I think... Uh, I, th I still think it's very charming. The it it's not so... It doesn't feel so much... I don't know if this will make sense, but it doesn't feel so much like a crossover between the Mario and Rabbids that it does feel like a game that features the Mario and... the Mario characters and the Rabbids, if that makes any sense. But I, I, I'm going to say A tier because I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, anyone thoughts? I feel like it's a decent enough sequel, but it's, I don't think it's as good as the original. Yeah, it's definitely not as good. I mean, I could see some people thinking of it as better. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it can honestly go either way, but you guys agree with A tier? Agreed. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Mario Golf Super Rush. We might have our first E tier. I'm I'm not sure about F. I don't know about F. Yeah, it's def it's no F. It's definitely no F. But I could see an E, honestly. But like sixty dollars for what? For what? Mario. This, and this isn't. This doesn't feel like a Mario Golf game. You know, this feels like a golf game with Mario characters. Like. There's a mode where it's like, n when you hit the ball, you chase after the ball. So basically, uh, like, all the Mario Golf games before this was like, it cuts between, you know, each shot. So, removing the boring part of golf. This game fucking included the boring par part of golf as a new mode. It's like, what the fuck? Uh, and the, the, the roster, it was cool to see characters like King bob and... Uh, Pauline and Charge and Chuck in there, but like, it was clearly not ready to be released with the uh, low amount of content. And we'll get to a worse example of a Mario spin-off game that does this, but um, uh, and it does it worse. But this one, like, I don't know, it, this one was disappointing. Greg slash thoughts. Yeah, it did definitely feel disappointing. It's just golf. But a texture swap. Yeah, like all the the other Mario Golf games actually feel like Mario Golf games, if you know what I mean. This one is a golf game with Mario characters, and yeah. Uh, Mario. And now, oh, and now release oh port. Okay. <laughs> Mario Kart 8 wait, Deluxe. Wait. Oh. I think, even though it's a port, I think A, right? Agreed. I guess also because of the DLC. The DLC, but also, like... Oh, this is just the better way to play Mario Kart 8. Like, you can't go back to the Wii... I mean, never mind the fact that it's on the Wii U. You can't go back to the Wii U version. It's just so much lacking in comparison. The The battle mode is so much better this time. Uh, yeah, and also the I new items make it more fun, I guess. Yeah. I think I love this game a lot more than you guys do. <laughs> like, I think this is... I don't, I don't even understand, but, like, I, I don't know why, but I just, for whatever reason, I'm re I really like this game, and it, it's just, it's a really solid game, I think I like it more than you guys do, though, because yeah. I think it's, like, I think it's S tier, personally, like, just on itself, because I, I, I mean, I've played this game a lot, and the D DLC really adds a lot, like, think about how many levels you get for, like, what, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Now, the thing is, a, I don't want support. Yeah, A, it's a port, so I don't think we can really rank it that high. And B, like, if I, I actually thought about at one point doing a ranking of Switch, or, like, Wii U to Switch ports, and this one was going to be really high, of course. 
But B, I'm kind of fucking sick of Mario Kart 8, and I want them to move on. But, um, you know, they're really... Th this game is the best-selling Switch game, and I think it's not even close. I, like, I think the second best game, the best-selling Switch game, I don't remember, I think it's Animal Crossing, is not even close to this one. And for good reason, honestly, because th this is definitely, this is like the one Switch port, one Wii U game on Switch that I'd... That I think every Switch owner should have. There's another port that I think is better. Maybe we'll get to it later. But, like, this one is the one that I think everyone should have. Oh, they do make bundles of it every holiday, so you can't go without it. <laughs> yeah. Next up, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. I have not played this, but I honestly have always wanted to. Anyone else play this one? Nope. I don't have the space for it. It seems Although like my room is bigger than yours, I really don't. Yeah, Slash, what are you going to say? I don't know, it seems like something that would be more fun to do, like, once and then never do it again, yeah, personally. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it doesn't seem like it's really worth all of the stuff that you'd need to actually buy. And, like, I've, like, I love Mario Kart, and I've wanted to get this, but at the same time, it's like, we're putting in all that work just for, like, one track, basically. You have to realign, I don't know, it just seems like a lot of work. If you have the time... And whatnot, if you have like 80 different bedrooms that are all completely different in layout for whatever reason, this is the game for you, bro. Just, yeah. You know. Alright. But, yeah. I don't know. Mario so Party Superstars. I think A. It's an A or a B. Yeah, it's an A. Yeah, slash. Is this the one we played together? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this game was fun. Yeah, I think. I think it's the best Mario Party. I really do. I think it's better than, like, any game on the N64, any game on the GameCube. And, like, you know, it. this is the Mario Party Top 100, but better. You know, they picked actual, you know, mini games that people like. They picked boards. They're fucking put boards in this game. And, yeah, it's, it's the better Mario Party game on the Switch. And we'll get to that other one. What? what are you talking about? Um, okay, remember when I said that uh, there's another Mario sports game that they fucked? Here it is. Mario Strikers Battle League. I honestly want to give it an F just because of how insulting it is for the amount of money they charge and how fucking little there is. I think that's a little too harsh. I think maybe E. Anyone... Yeah, I mean, it's Mario, so it can't be a failure all the way, so E it is. Slash? I don't know. For what's in this game, I feel like it's worth, like, what, like, $45, personally? Okay. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. 45 I played this game, bought it for $60 at launch, 45 is still asking for a bit much. Sorry, continue. Yeah, I, I, okay, I'm... But I just don't think that it's worth the money at all. If you're gonna, if you can play for free, like, which you can't, unless you like someone's giving it away. Which you know, if I own this game, I might just give it away. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's not. I'll sell it. I want you. You should want that money back. No, I mean I would sell it, but no one would buy it from me. True. So. <laughs> yeah, I went to a friend's house, and he had just gotten this game, and we played it for about. 15 minutes. Yeah, it's like, you know you have a game that's not worth 60 if I play it for an hour and then think to myself, alright, why did I just do that? If I, has, have I just seen everything this game has to offer? I'm not kidding, there was an hour, and even then, it, honestly, you say if it was for free, maybe, honestly, like, the AI, I heard they fixed this, but the AI were fucking bullshit, and you can say I'm bad, but I looked online, and this is a common issue, it's not just me, so, if that's the case, then the AI really is fucking bullshit, but yeah. I low-key wanna, I would low-key wanna put it in F, but, I don't know. Uh, if there's no game, if there's no worse game, then maybe. I don't know if there's an F I honestly I'm not sure if, if there is an F tier or not here, but I'd rather play FIFA on Switch, honestly. Yeah. Um Alright, well moving on. Uh Martes oh, Aces. I have not played actually. Yeah, you probably expected me to have played this game, but wow. I have not. 
Um, either of you play play it? I know I just put it and haven't played, but either of you I've play tried it? A, I've tried a little bit of it. I guess it's going to join the other Mario Sports with E. Like, I feel like I heard with this the game, Mario Sports... I'm sorry, I'm sorry to cut you off. I heard this right, game actually go first, got... Go first, go first. I heard, I heard this... Oh, oh hang on. It's the phone. I think I'm getting cut off. I heard this game actually got, um, like, fuck, what was I going to say now? I heard this game actually got better through updates, though, so I don't, like, Mario Golf and Mario Strikers, like, they updated, updated those games but very slowly, and not too long after, they kind of, like, stopped getting updates. This game got updated quite a lot since its release. So I'm not so sure D, about. I guess D maybe. Yeah, maybe D. Slash thoughts. Um, I think I played this game once, and I'm not even sure if I played this game. So. All right, so D. Um. Is, uh, right? Yeah, don't don't listen to me. Okay. Yeah, sure. Next one's a weird one. Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three. I forget that there's a Marvel <laughs> Ultimate Alliance Three, and the, the the existence of this game just perplexes me because. Like, I remember for a while, like, people were really, they really wanted a Mar Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. And then they revealed it, and it didn't get too much coverage, and they revealed it as a Nintendo Switch exclusive, and that was because they came, Nintendo came in and helped with the development. The game basically, it probably would have been canceled without them. But it's, uh, this is just weird, and no one talks about this game, and I have not played it, so... I actually have a little. What, what I give it a B. I give it a B at best. B, okay. Slash, have you played this? Um, no. Okay, so B. It's just All right. weird to put this on the Switch, but, you know, I understand why. Yeah, and it is a Switch exclusive. Like, it's eligible for this list. Uh, Greg, want to maybe talk about the game a little bit? And why it's it B? It's, it's good... But not as good as, I guess, the other titles that made it, that happened before it. And also, DLC. Yeah, like, if you want to play as, like, certain characters, like, Fantastic Four or certain X-Men, you have to pay more money. Yeah. I will say, it is, oh, yeah. it, it is pretty cool. Hey, like, this was shortly after, like, the Fox acquisition by Disney was finalized. It is pretty cool that Wolverine's front and center. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that means a certain other franchise is possible, but we're going to save that for another time, I guess. Yeah, um... Metroid Dread, I think S. A or an S, yeah. I, this uh, one was really good. Slash, have you? I mean, it? Samus Returns. Oh, I've got for Slash. I've got. I got around to it. Yeah. It is. It's really good. It's tough. You know, I remember. You got. I don't know about. I don't know if we even knew each other back then, Greg. But Slash, I. You might remember. I. I was talking about how difficult this game was. Um, it's tough, but man, is it rewarding and like oh it is suspense the suspense is done very well with the with the emmys uh, just i think it might be my third favorite metroid game you know there's metroid the super metroid there's metroid prime this one's number three i think uh thoughts by anyone else hello um i'm fine just leaving it at that honestly it's yeah just, just a, leave it at the s yeah but that's not it for metroid as we got metroid prime remastered Ooh. now the title is a bit of a lie i it's a bit more than just a remaster and i i don't know because it is a remaster or remake depending on what you think but i want to give it s it is such a good remaster but uh what do you guys think should it be an s or should it be an a or do you guys not like it? I'd say I'd say an S. I mean, I just got my copy today, so you know. So yeah, I'm probably gonna be gaming with it a lot. Yeah, I'm, I've been super excited to play this. I mean, I I could see it being an S, but um, you know, Mario Kart 8, uh, whatever. Um, Fine. Mario Kart 8's more of a port. This is th th this one. I know. Really worked a bit more, I know. So. Yeah, they did all. Work. I know they reworked really it. Assets. But I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, Bullshit. Monster Hunter, I think this is Generations Ultimate. I have not played Yeah, it's this. Generations. Yeah, neither have I. And I'm assuming, Slash, you have not played Monster Hunter no, Generations Ultimate. Okay. Monster Hunter but Rise, on, the other, on hand, the other hand. A or S, I think. 
I'd say an A. Okay. I'd give it like a very high A. Yeah. I think I watched you play this game. Yeah, I, I did. I did stream it. It is very good. For the Switch, it it does kind of push the Switch to its limits, but I actually think it looks really good for the yeah, Switch. Yeah, Capcom did a really good job. Just play it on here if you want to, because I heard the PlayStation and Xbox versions are just copy and paste and digital only. Not very good. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Monster Hunter Rise, very good. Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, I also have not played. Although I did want to play this one, but I never Yeah, same. Either have I. And Slash, you have not played nope. Okay. This the Namco Museum Arcade Pac-Man. I actually don't remember the name of this one, but Greg. All right, I'll do. I'll do the one. honors. I'll do the honors since I. Well, I don't have the collection itself. But I have both games separate. Just Namco Museum for Switch. I'm not putting in F. I'm just dropping it there just to <laughs> okay, really okay. let go of the just... mouse. <sighs> okay. You I'll. I'll just... All right, so it contains. Wait, Namco wait, wait. Museum. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's called Namco Museum Arcade Pack. I know it's Arcade Pack, but I have the game separately that are included with this. I was just telling the audience. That's a weird name. All right. Anyways, sorry. Uh, yeah. So Namco Museum sorry. for Switch te has ten games in one, including the re-release of Pac-Man Versus on GameCube, as well as pa a special version of Pac-Man Champion Edition Two. I would probably have to give it, I'd say, a B since it's a really good port of like everything. Okay. Um, Slash, I'm assuming you haven't played this one, right? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, so that was all you, Greg. Uh, next one. Welcome. <laughs> new Pokemon Snap. I could, if, if, if it were up to me, I feel like this would be the highest of all the Pokemon series, like all the Pokemon games. Mm, I don't. I don't. I'm. I think I want to give it an A because it was just a joy, but like. There is not much to be more it. of a B. It's more and, of a B, I'd you, say. At, at its core, you are really just taking pictures of Pokemon. So I'm going to give it a B. But it's a lot of fun. Maybe not for $60. I don't know about that. But you get it for like maybe $40. I, I, I'd recommend that. Uh, thoughts, anybody? Nah, it's, it's, it's in the right place. All right. Slash, what did you say? Snap. Snap, yep. New Super Mario Brothers? Wait, uh, you, you do. New Super Mario Brothers, you deluxe! Woohoo! Er, yep. I tried. You're welcome. Um, this <laughs> was... Right. This, this is debatable. This is the game... I will never forgive it for this. This is the game that spawned the Bowsette meme. So it gets an F. That, was, that last part was a joke. But, uh, I actually never got this version of Super, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, because I personally, I don't hate New Super Mario Bros. U, but that was the game that made me realize that uh, the New Super Mario Bros. franchise was growing stale, which is ironic, because it has new in the title, but uh, Greg, I got the sense that you played this one, because you said this one's yeah, controversial. Yeah, I have. So, honestly, or B, Wait, first, B or first, C? First, 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 slash, have you played this one? Um, no. Okay. Uh, I wanted to see if see your opinion before Greg. All right. So what you All right. So honestly, either a B or a C because I mean, in the end, it's really just a port with like one new, one to two new things. There's like nothing really else, and also like some of the features from the Wii U were removed for well obvious did, reasons. Did they remove Yellow Toad? No, you could. I think it's Blue Toad actually, or one of them. You can still or, play as him, from what I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're still playable. You just have to hold the. I think it's one of the bumper buttons on the character select screen to switch. Okay, so where would you rec where would you say it goes? I guess honestly, I guess it'd be it's Mario. You can't really go wrong with it. Okay. Ninjala, Ninjala. I played this game for a little bit, and honestly, mm, I. It's got dull, honestly, really it's, quick. It's, there's nothing to it. I'm going to give it a D. Maybe I agree with you on that. Honestly, I think maybe even E. There's just nothing to say about this game. Yeah, there's not really much because of the campaign. You have to pay for it. So it's another Halo Infinite, but for kids. Ninjago. Yeah, I think an E. It's superior. Thank you, Slash. That is superior to this. I think this. an E. All right, next up. Yeah. Uh, anyone get any Labo set? 
I know I have a friend who did have some, but I never got my hands on any of the cardboard, so yeah. Have you experienced For me, oh, I have not played it. Have you experienced the I first I haven't played game? any. Okay, so they all go... Put, they yeah, will, under haven't played, I guess, for yeah. us. Look how much I have to... Call like, your friend right now. Look how much I have to shrink the tier list, by the way. Lama. Nintendo Switch Sports. I was, oh, no. I was pretty high on this game when it came out, and then it took them... How fucking long? It like, took them over six months to add golf. D tier, in my opinion. But uh, I'm willing to hear what you guys have to say. It's a slash. D or a C, honestly. Okay, slash. The fact, the fact that I can't play as Maloli and Craig in this no, game. You, you can do that. No, but uh, like, but it, like. It's not the default but, like, option, though, so yeah. But like, yeah, what, the what fact the that it's not the mates. default option, it's like. Yeah, I don't like the Miis got shafted, you know? Yeah. I gotta, I gotta stand up for the Miis. So, D? Yes. Okay. Um, No More Heroes 3. This game... Uh, I actually really like this game. This game was a lot of fun. The only thing is, it did kind of... It was an early example of the Switch kind of not being... Like, the Switch being a little underpowered. But, uh... I want to give it a B. Anyone... Disagree? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a B, honestly. Slash? Sure. Okay. Um, Octopath Traveler. This one, an A, maybe an S. Oh, what, what do you guys think? It's either one, honestly. Mm. I, I mean, it, it did start a new IP that now has a mobile installment, and just recently got a sequel, so maybe an S. Alright, Slash? I don't like the mobile games, so we're gonna have to give this one an F. He, right, he's so joking, guys. I guess an S. Yeah, this one was very unique when it came out. And like I said, there's a lot of similarities between this and uh, and Live Alive. But also, like, the music. The music in this game. So, yeah. Uh, Octopath Traveler is a great game. Next up, Pac-Man 99. Uh, this was... They released... I remember they, they came out with this game right after... Uh, Super Mario Bros. 35. Yeah, they pulled it. It's funny how they kept Pac-Man alive and not him. Like, Mario's their star. This is Bandai Namco we're talking about. Yeah, uh, it's a perfect... I, I think a B is fine for this Yeah, one. it's it's fun, honestly. I mean, the servers are dead, but still, it's pretty fun when you get to play. Yeah, Slash? Um, yeah, I mean, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's not... It's, it's fun enough. Okay. I actually did not play Paper Mario the Origami King. Any of you play it? It's a B, honestly. It's okay. it's good, honestly. It's probably the best of like the new trilogy. And I'm saying new trilogy for a reason because Sticker Star. They don't talk about Sticker Star. I uh, fuck. I've <sighs> Color Splash. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember the names off my head right now. And this, I, I mean, honestly, compared to N64. As in your door and Super Paper Mario, the, the, the other three honestly weren't the best, but I feel this one is the best of those three. Yeah, okay. Slash? Oh, uh, I mean, I haven't played this version. I've played some other Paper Mario games, though, and from what I've heard and from what I've seen, this one isn't, like, as good as the ones that I've played. So. Okay. Moving on, uh, Picross S. Any of you play this one? Nope. Anyone? I have not played the Picross games I've on Switch. I've played Picross, but I haven't played it on Switch. Okay. Uh, Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I have not played this game. Um, any of you guys play this game? Try the demo. What would you it's think? It's fine. It? It's good. It's another port, so B, I guess. It doesn't really add anything too new. Okay. Slash? I like Pikmin, but I haven't played this one. Like, I don't know. Pikmin, there's just something that appe about Pikmin that appeals to me. Okay. Something, so, about, something about the pick. Well, so, they'll be. Well, they'll be. Okay. Next up, uh, we got a whole row of Pokemon. Well, not a whole row, but you know what I mean. Oh. Uh, Pokemon oh. Tournament. Uh, or Pokemon Tournament DX. This was... This is honestly a game I feel like a lot of us forget about, but I think th I think this is pretty solid. It's a, it's a weird one. It's like, you know... It's a, it's basically a Tekken game with Pokemon. Uh, I think weird. since this, since this is a port, I think a B. Sorry, I kind of B. Yeah, uh, sounds right. I, 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 yeah, I, I wasn't saying anything. 
Confirm. You sure? Okay. Yeah, so I'm positive. We all it's, just we it's just weird yeah. the game. Yeah. It's not like bad weird, it's just like, what, 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 how did this happen? Yeah. Um. Uh, okay. Pokemon Unite. Uh, this game... For it's how, a mobile game. For how controversial it was, it's not that bad. I, but... I got bored of it. I think a. Steam. What's the deal with Pokemon? Yeah, yeah it's a. It's Steam. a MOBA, like like League of Legends, almost. It's basically oh, League no of wonder. Legends. It's, it's basically <sighs> League of Legends. It's it's made by Tencent as well, which they own. No wonder games. Zach likes it. No yeah. wonder Zach likes it. Okay, yeah. Whoa, for kids. I think uh, C. We can all agree on that, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. All right. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining go. Pearl. I've not played these, but uh, Greg, have you? Go. Before I ask Slash, Greg, have you played these? Surprisingly not. All right, Slash, what do you think about these two? All right, so I'm gonna be completely honest. It's a perfect. It's perfectly serviceable. It's just a remake. Um, there's. I, I hate the art style that they chose, and I haven't really played it that much, like, at all. I don't have the game, but I've played it, and I it's, like, it's perfectly ser serviceable. It's just fine. It's just the art style really pisses me off for mm -hmm. some reason. So where it's would you just, put it? It's just, it's perfectly, probably B. It's perfectly fine. It's just, you know, all right. nothing crazy. Pokemon Legends Arceus. I, despite not being that much of a Pokemon fan, I actually did want to play this, because it was, it was something different that Game Freak were doing, uh... Before I ask you, Slash, Greg, uh, where'd you put this? Or have you played this? I haven't played, but I think I know where to put it. At least it'd be, at least it'd be maybe. Or even an A if you're getting really desperate. Okay, well, I don't know why I'd be getting desperate. But Slash, uh, you played this one, right? Um, I, a little bit, not... <laughs> um, do you wanna, you, you just go for it. I trust you. Don't fuck it up. So... A? A is, yeah, A okay. is fine. It's it's new, it tries new things, it's exciting. I feel like there could be a little more content, but it's, it's fine. Alright. Um, oh Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. I actually did play this one, believe it or not. Not a whole lot of it, I, and I... Mm. Honestly, I want to give it a C just because it's whatever, but... Uh, Greg, it's a C. It's a C, honestly. Okay, slash just e around the time this came out, I was playing Spyro. All right, cool. I don't know. Low key feeling a D. Like this game is just like it's just it's just so incredibly mid okay. that I, in my opinion, it's re it's way too easy. I think, in my opinion. Okay. Um, so and it's just. I don't know. It's just we're back. It's, it doesn't try anything new. It, it branch. I mean, it does, but the things it tries are like stupid. It's like yes. Thank you for letting me transfer my Pokemon Go Pokemon instead of fixing the game. You know. <laughs> so yeah, my opinion on this game is probably not the best to go off of because, like I said, I barely played it. Greg, have you played this one? I played a little bit of it, probably maybe on the same level as you have, I'm not sure, but so, it's a think, C or a D at best. I think we isn't should put it in D because Slash played more of it, and... Isn't this the game that Gus was playing? Yeah, it seems fair. I don't know if this was the game Gus was playing. Well, he was throwing the things, I think it was this one. Because it was an Arceus, right? Oh. Um, I don't know, I mean, it's perfectly, It's it could be a C, it could be a D, but I mean, it's just so mid, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, oh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, I have not played this game. When I saw it, oh, something about this kind of just made me think, like, $60 for this? But I don't know, I haven't played this one. Uh, either either of I. One. Either of I. Demo only, but I can't I've really played, say much. Slash? I've played Mystery Dungeon games in the past, and I, I just didn't get this one, so. Okay, so, haven't played. Pokemon? Well, no, we'll get, no, 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 we'll save Scarlet for uh, Scarlet and Violet for the last of the Pokemons. Oh, Sword and Shield. Honestly, they like. I don't know. Has anyone else played this? I, I played a little bit. I think I think that was when we played it together. So. Oh jeez. Um, yeah. <laughs> Greg, have you played this? I was planning to, but then I saw what it looked like, and also it wasn't worth it for the price at the time. Yeah, uh, Slash? Oh my that? goodness, okay, I, this is the game that made me stop playing Pokemon for like two years, because it's just so... 
Like, I had fun playing with you, I'm not trying to insult you or anything, yeah. but this game is just so infuriating. It's like, they put like $49.99 or $59.99 dollars worth of normal Pokemon, gave it a shitty texture, and then half finished the game, gave like no post game basically, and then they slapped a, like a nice juicy $69 price tag on it that made me just not, or, 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 or whatever the Switch standard price is. But it just made me hate it. And then they were like, oh, you know what? It's fine. We have this DLC that will fix it. It only costs $20. And it's like, at that point, you're paying, like, basically $100 for a normal Pokemon game. It's like, yeah, this game, I, I hate this game. Absolutely. I just despise it personally. Well, imagine they charged 70 for this. But they yeah. did. I, I think this game infuriates me, but it's not objectively bad. I mean, it is objectively bad, but it's not, like, objectively, like, disgusting. Um, honestly, even though I just said a bunch of shit about it, it's probably C tier or D tier. Um, alright, let's go D, you know, fuck it, bro. Fuck Pokemon. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now, the sense I get from this, um, is... It seems to be, like... At its core, one of the best Pokemon games, the best Pokemon game in some time, but the, like, it's, it was not finished. Greg, uh, before I ask slash Greg, thoughts? Okay, now that the garage door is closed, honestly, <laughs> like, they try to make this better, but my god, it's a headache. I literally saw some gameplay today, considering the new DLC just came out and someone already got it, to no one's surprise. And it looks just nauseating. Like my god, Wait, the DLC came out today. Yeah, they someone already got the. Oh well, I think part one at least. Like someone got the Sukun clone already. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh I my god, they dropped it. I didn't get it yet, but I knew it dropped today. Oh. And I'm not going to be getting it because I don't get. Just I don't get DLC. Metro Metroid much. Superior. That's that's all that matters to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, slash thoughts on Scarlet and Violet. I'm just gonna oh. down over here. Uh, just have it chill enough for a little bit. It knows what it did. Um, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, <laughs> okay. I'll talk about it, but um, yeah, like no, good enough, perfect. You know, just put like Mario Kart Metroid Dread down there, and then take a screenshot and have that be the thumbnail with like a gasping face. Or <laughs> I actually like that idea. Um, yeah, actually, we should do that after. Oh wait, never mind. You get a screen cap. Yeah, and then just I guess put Animal Crossing there in E tier. No, 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 no. Uh, just he's good. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there, let's, there, just do that. Screen cap that. Screen cap that. Oh shit, we are actually getting close to the end, more than we expect. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're gonna get so many views from just that. I'm so, not even kidding. So you were saying? <laughs> okay. Um. So this game is actually really good. The only problem is, you know, normally when you make a video game, you're supposed to kind of, you know, like finish the game you know normally that's what you want to do but i like that game freak tried something new with this one and decided to not release it completely released just to you know give us a brand new experience and um you know it's a really it's it's fucking it's actually an incredible game but it's like mm, it's like if i'm being completely honest i feel like if everything came out perfect that this game could be an s tier game yeah but it's like no the story is actually really good for a pokemon game it's not like stupid like how maloli was telling me about but whatever that's not important but um basically i feel like this game is probably b tier because i feel like it's it could be controversial i guess but it's just like i feel like it's really good only there's technical glitches aside there's some other stuff that's just not perfect it's like there's some things that are more complicated than they need to be it's not like super impossible to figure out or anything um there's things that will if you don't look them up they will take you 80 years to figure out everything and there's so much unskippable cutscene at the beginning of the game oh yeah um you know about this do you want yes. <laughs> do you want to talk about it because you haven't well, talked i mean like you kind of just said you kind of just said Plus, I've been talking the whole video, so... Yeah. It's just like you're watching a movie, but you're supposed to be playing a game, and the movie's not very interesting, and it's glitching out the entire time. 
for about we played for about an hour and like 30 minutes and we still didn't really get into the meat and bones of the game yeah. it's like by that point you should be progressing doing yada yada so i really love this game it's really good and i don't know vi the visual glitches and stuff didn't really bother me personally because it wasn't i th also think it might be because my switch is newer and that was the thing that people were talking about but i don't know how true that is but um yeah this game is very mid i mean very mixed because it's like you know i'm not i'm gonna shut up now because i've been talking for the past 80 years but this game is very mid okay ring fit adventures kind of like oh, once you switch i made a video about this game um it's a perfectly fine game uh i'm gonna give it uh i don't know it's 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 not a game you're supposed to really play like religiously. You know, yeah, you know it's, a, it's supposed to be a workout game. You're not supposed to sit it and like speed sit do, sit and speed run through it. It's like you you gotta like be jumping, got like jogging all over the place. So it's not like the easiest game to play. You gotta play in like you know segments. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a B. If Scarlet and Violet is in B, I think. Ringford Adventures could be in B. And yeah. I might have been too harsh, but whatever. It's, I don't care. Um, <laughs> Alright, next. I think this is Rune Factory 5 Special. I have not played this one. Uh, either of you play this game? Oh. oh. Alright. Um, Shin Megami Tensai 5. I have not played this one. Greg, have you? I now we're talking. I haven't started yet, but I've heard some really good stuff about it. I would say maybe an a, B, a or B, to be honest. Okay. Uh, Slash? No, I haven't played it. Okay, so Greg... Uh, Alright, well, well, they well, they revived the kind of deadish franchise, so A. Okay. Um, Snipper Clips. This, this game's fun. It's a fun little game for the Switch to, to play co-op. Uh, not much to this one. I don't even know where to put it. Uh, slash Greg. Thoughts? Mm, I mean, it doesn't do like as much as you think, but still, it is really fun. So maybe I'd say a B. So How much does the game cost? I don't know. I I think on the e it was like twenty. It was twenty dollars, but I think they released it physically with some more content. It was maybe like thirty. Yeah, I have the physical copy. All right. Well, we can go B then. I think or B or C. Okay. I have no I problem. Know. Oh, you just put D tier by I, accident. I, I, yeah, that was an accident. I, I guess B is fine for Snipper Clips. It's a it's a final little game. Split two. Two. Uh, I have this game. I've played this game. I was weird. I played yeah. I remember playing a lot of this game, but like when it came out, and then I never played Splatoon again until Splatoon three came out. It's so weird. So that is actually me, IRL. Yeah, I feel like that's just what it's like for Splatoon. If you're not like a religious Splatoon player, you know. But um, oh. I think this goes in B, and then Splatoon 3 goes in A. We'll get to Splatoon 3 in a second. Anyone? Thoughts? Seems right. It, it Actually, seems right, honestly. I mean, I played this in, like, 2018. I don't know exactly when it came out, so I don't really remember anything. I haven't really revisited, revisited since. It's like, <clears throat> this is going to sound weird, but usually the second game, unless it's, like, really amazing, doesn't get as much love. Because everyone's either playing the original or the new release, you know. Mm -hmm. But I no feel one's like playing it's, the original. it's on the Wii U, but yeah. Yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I feel like it's fine. You know, I played it for probably about. I went on this trip. I played it the whole car ride. Basically, we have a, a Wi-Fi port. I'm not being stupid. I promise. Okay. And it was just fun i played it a lot i stayed up way later than i should have playing this game um i feel like it's b okay very fun and like i said I splatoon 3 i think uh. is a it's just it's splatoon 2 but i think just better and uh you know the story is actually pretty cool the salmon runs a lot of fun and the splat fests despite feeling a little rigged at times the splat fests you can do three teams which is pretty cool. I wish that was kind of in the main mode, in the main turf wars. Uh, but yeah, uh, I kind of just put it in A without asking what any of you guys thought. Uh, any thoughts from either of you? Did do that. 
I haven't played, but I could agree with you. I have no objection. Alright. So, A tier for Splatoon 3 it is. Sports Story, the long-awaited sequel to Golf Story, and to be honest, I th I'm the only one of the three of us who have played this game, right? Yep. Yeah. So, you're you're on. <laughs> yep. To be you're honest, in. it's a bit of a disappointing sequel to Golf Story. Not a bad game, but, like, it takes a while to get into the sports. I was really excited because... Like, is this going to be Golf Story? But instead of just golf, it's multiple sports? It takes a while to get into that. So I'm going to give it a C. I don't know. It's just... I don't know. It's forgettable as well. I don't know. It just... Yeah, I feel like I was the only one who played the game when it came out because it came out at the very end of last year. You know? Game of the year. Super Kirby Clash. This game, I... I don't, it, there's, huh, Oakland? I think this was like a, I, I think that when this game came out, it was like a, it was a free-to-play game through the Nintendo Switch Online, and I remember nothing of it, by, I'm not gonna put it in haven't played, because I have played it, but I'm gonna give it in E because I don't remember, and I, I, I'm just gonna take that as me, as the game being pretty forgettable for me. Uh, but watch Greg, it be like, watch it be like yeah. what? Watch it be like it's, watch it be an incredible. <laughs> forgettable. Game. It is forgettable, honestly. Right. Do you do you hear anyone talking about this? Because I certainly no, fucking don't. I actually forgot that this was like I knew about all these other Kirby games on the Switch except for this one until I put this list together. Um, even the list forgot it was a Kirby game, bro. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's not. It wasn't with all the other Kirby games. Uh, because it's called Super Kirby Clash, and I know, it's alphabetized, but, like, but yeah, like, but no, I, lo I like the idea, this, the list was, the list forgot, but yeah, um, this one. Oh my goodness, I don't even... Super Mario 3D All-Stars, look, 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 is it really cool to have Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Mario Galaxy on the Switch? Yes, it's cool. Did they fucking half-ass it just to do the bare fucking minimum for Mario's 35th anniversary? Yes. I think as a whole, just for that, I obviously, I'm not doing this, but for, but for just doing the bare minimum for Mario's 35th anniversary, I want to give it an F, but I'm, I, I'm thinking E. Yeah, it's, it's super bare bones, honestly. Actually, I don't know about an E. I don't know about an E because there are th there are three great games in here, and they didn't fuck with the games that much. You know, obviously they changed Mario Galaxy to where it, the motion con controls are not required. Mario Sunshine is playable again. You know, they that this was the first time that game's ever been re released, and I mean it was the first time Mario Galaxy was re released, but like. That was on the Wii. The Wii was a massive success. Everyone had it. Uh, and everyone had Mario Galaxy. Uh, the GameCube wasn't as popular as the Wii was, so Mario Sunshine felt some of that. But I think a D just because... Like, how... I'm sorry. I, I can't. I still can't get over how Mario 64 is still, A, not in widescreen, and B, there's still, like, these two bars... Like on the top and the bottom, it's like they didn't even. They not only is it not in widescreen, they didn't make the full square like, l like reach the full. It's. Uh, oh, thoughts. Can we, also, can we also talk about how they just, just added zip a light about a lot of this? <laughs> All right, slash. What were you gonna say? Can we just talk about how they added like four pictures and like the home menu and was like, guys, look yeah. what we did. Look what we added to the collection, guys. This is exclusive shit right here. So, like I love, sorry, I love all of these games a lot. But yeah, it's totally. we're not ranking the games, we're ranking the collection. It's a really good deal for what you're getting. I like it's not, you know, peak collection type shit. I was thinking same thing. Oh yeah, they pulled it too. Yeah. Now you can't buy this anymore. Even though I I remember it was in clearance bins for a little while. Yeah, in a little bit like Targets and Best Buys. I have my copy still. I've seen sealed copies go up for like crazy prices on eBay. Yeah, it's, it's like I should have kept my sealed copy. The three games in here, 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy, are the only yes. things keeping it from being E. Maybe even. Those F. are all like 
those are all S tier games, basically. Yeah, you can make yeah truly they are. But the way Nintendo handled it could have been done way better. 64 is probably even double S, if I'm being honest, but whatever. Um, I, I'm not... Well, I probably am going to forget to remove this, so I might as well say... Uh, I don't know about you guys, but there's a... I'm looking outside and the, the roofs around near my house are covered in snow. So yeah, the, snow, mine too. the snow really yeah. has hit. Yeah, I finally. Supposed, I supposed it only to took run all after. winter. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to run after? I was supposed to. I don't know if I'm going to now. I might just have to do twice tomorrow. Alright. Well, now we're on to the Super Mario. You know, we had a little Mario games before, but now these are Super Mario. Super Real Mario shit. 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Now, I know... Look, IGN, this is NA. I'll be honest. Now, I know... Slash, you're going to say this, and we might get some comments as well. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is an A tier. I think this is an S tier. But that's because... Even I, I don't even... I, I don't even think... I can't even really call this a port. I feel like this is more of like a remake, you know? Like... Well, maybe they didn't, like, completely build it from the ground up. But, like, this is more of a remaster Eureka. with, like, th they reworked things. And they added a brand new game. Don't fucking say I'm reaching. I played this game. And they they added Bowser's Fury, which Bowser's Fury is... Th that's like you make uh, Mario 3D World into, like, a more, like, a 3D, like, open world game. You know what I mean? And It works. It works, yeah. It's it's done very well, but uh, S tier might be a little controversial. Uh, Greg, you thought A? Yeah, honestly. Okay. Uh, slash. I'll give you the S if you give. I'll give you the S if you give Mario Kart the S. Greg will be the deciding factor then. Mm. Okay. This is a tough one now, honestly. Wait, you just said a, you just said A, so I I I probably should own up uh I, if, if it was just bowser's fury that would be a. the yes honestly no probably just a because they're like bowser's fury is pretty short but like it'll be a high a in fact i think it might still be a high i look i love mario kart 8 deluxe but like it is more of a port this is like they kind of like redid this game you know what i mean yeah we'll we'll settle with a a still really good Super Mario Bros. 35. B maybe Another A. Another Paul's game. I, I think B maybe even A. Yeah. Because this game was a lot of fun. Uh, and I... It might... No, I don't know about that actually. But like, I wish this game was still there. Because like, you know... The, the, the problem with this game was always that it was going to get pulled. You know... Because like, you're trying to get good at the game. Trying to be a, like master the ability to like finish in time f to do a lot better than everyone else but then when the game gets pulled it's like well yeah what's the point so that does hurt it uh, this game being pulled hurts it more than some of the other games when uh that got pulled but i don't know greg slash what do you guys think about this one i would honestly have to say it would be a b Okay, slash. I mean, I think B is fair. I mean, you can't really, like... Like, I mean, I feel like it doesn't really, no offense, deserve to be higher for what it is. It's simple, it's fun, but it's not, like, peak. Yeah. Which, you know. Alright. Super Mario Maker 2, I think S. Because that is an S, honestly. This, they just... Obvious... I, th what hurts it is the lack of... Uh, support afterwards, you know? And also, removing amiibo functionality with this game also kind of hurt it for me. But, like, you know, they added so much new stuff. Slopes. I remember slopes being such a highly requested thing for Mario Maker 1. Uh, they added, basically, they kind of added star coins almost, kind of. Um... And they added th a 3D world as an option, you know, m m making, like, basically a brand new game in this game. I think it's an S. And plus, the, the post-game content they did add was actually really cool. Link is a power-up, which is kind of weird to say, but that was pretty cool. And they, there's, like, a Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom. 
really cool, I think. Uh, Greg slash thoughts? It's an S rank, honestly. This game was super fun, especially like the versus online. That hopefully it's still an S. Not I was I never hit an S rank. I was at an A rank last time I played. All right, slash. It's, it's yeah, you know, it's Mario Maker. Okay, uh, but I want to see. I, I want to see Nintendo do this with some of their other games. Like, I, I think we'll get to Link's Awakening in a little bit. I, I remember in that game they had, like, a dungeon creator. And I thought that was, like, the, to test the waters for a Zelda maker. Uh, I want to see them do that. I want to see them do that with m more games than just Mario. Because I think it can work with certain franchises. Super Mario Odyssey. You, might, you guys may have noticed that we have a... Uh, Maybe that could be in the thumbnail. But uh, we, some of you guys might have noticed we have an SS tier. Super this is Mario our first Odyssey game. And two other games. The reason why there's an SS tier. What can I say? A lot of people have kind of turned on this game over time, saying like it's different from the Mario games. I think the Mario games for a while, up to this point, were getting a little stale to having the same locations. This one, like the whole point of this game is that it's in a different they're in different locations. They're in, like, Mario is out of place, like, especially in New Donk City, which is, like, everyone's favorite. But also, like, you know, the ability where you throw Cappy at your enemies and you become the enemy, like, that's pretty cool. Like, I... I'm honest, it's either this or Mario Galaxy or Galaxy 2 that is the best 3D platformer of all time. No, I probably. Um, slash Greg, thoughts on Mario Odyssey? Game's so good, I got to demo it actually a few times before release. I went to the NWC 2017 qualifiers, and this was one of the demos they had. Oh, yeah, they had it alongside Metroid Samus Returns. I played New Donk City, so much fun, and then I tried the store demo like a few weeks before it came out, which was the Sand Kingdom to Serena. I remember actually it was the week before release and everyone was taking turns playing the demo. Also because I was helping a friend out at the time who got injured and he really wanted to play the game. And so my mom was like, why not go with him after school to the Target and maybe go get Pizza Hut on the way home. Well, spoiler, it was Wendy's, but still, we had a really good time trying this out. And the final product did not disappoint. Wendy's really, is really better than fun. Pizza Hut. What? Yeah, truly. Truly, yeah. it is. <laughs> Slash? <laughs> all in all, worth it. Yeah, Slash? Um... No, it's pretty good, you know. It's, no, it's pretty good. Okay. Um... S Super Mario Party. This one... Look, they, they... they I'm not dropping an A, I'm just... Uh, th this game... You know, it seemed to be bringing Mario Party back. Because for a while they did that stupid fucking car gimmick. Um, this game wasn't doing that. And... There's a lot of new characters. Some of the mini games were pretty cool looking, but then they kind of released and it was low on content. And they promised that there were gonna be updates, but then they didn't update the fucking game for like three years, which is insane. That they uh, they promised they promised updates. They didn't say when. You know, <laughs> yeah. Gonna... So uh, I I made classic Nintendo move. See, so yeah, where would you guys put this game? Because I've actually not never. Yeah. I'd say be honestly. Oh, I, th best. I thought you said E because you cut out. I'm like, I don't know about it. I don't know if it's E. Bruh. I thought it's you said be honestly at best. It's not better than Superstar. Superstars takes the cake for being the better Mario Party on Switch. Yeah. Um slash thoughts. Um fine, you know. Nothing crazy. Um it could definitely be better. But yeah. Alright. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I think we can uh, agree that is the other game in SS tier. Definitely. Um, this, this just made a whole culture come alive, honestly, when yeah. you think about it. Like, this game... I mean... I'm, I've am i talked about Smash so much, I'm sick of it. But, like, in regards to it being, like, a Switch game, like, one of the best Switch games, like, I feel like most people, like, you ask them... If someone asks you, like, you know, you're... I'm getting a Switch. What games do you recommend? Like, I feel like the common answer is Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, and Smash. You know? Obviously, it was a little different for me when I got asked that. Like, my... 
my little my cousin was giving my little cousin a switch and he was like five and it's kind of oh smash what isn't probably the first game for a five-year-old because i mean i was watching like six-year-olds at camp Six-year-olds at camp I was watching uh, actually played Smash Brothers, believe it or not. True, but like... One, one girl actually called him Mario Smash Brothers, <laughs> from what I remember. But this is... It's the everyone is here Smash game. It's the Smash game of all Smash games. Thoughts, anybody? Absolutely perfect. What, what more can I say? I mean, the only thing I remember with the reviews is like, all oh, the online was bad. Because of, like, I don't know, like, the delayed input. Yeah. Slash thoughts? Uh, yeah. You know, it's Smash. Yeah, okay. Um, Tetris 99. Um, Tep Technique. Finally, we get to the Technique. Uh, <laughs> that sounded really Russian. A? Maybe yeah. even S. Because this is, like, some, what? it might be the most unique Battle Royale ever. Instead of being on a battlefield and uh killing people you're playing tetris with with 99 other people that's so unique and I also i just want to say the tetris remix like the th tetris theme in this game is that it bangs but i think i'm gonna say a slash you're the tetris aficionado here um is that right um, I'm just looking at what's in B tier. Oh, you think? No, I'm just look. No, I'm just looking. I'm just looking. You think this goes in B? No, I I definitely think it's it's better than every game that's in B tier, in my opinion. Even though I haven't played all of them. Okay, great. No, I just I don't know. I, I have some small problems with it. I feel like it's hey, really perfect. hard to progress once you get to a certain point. Okay, great. But I mean. It's honestly an A tier at best. It's it's really good. It's, it's super super fun. The themes were, were really cool. I have the Game Boy Tetris theme actually, to no one's surprise, that I keep on all the time. Yep. So yeah, A. We agree. Sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, World ends with you. Final remix. Uh, this poor this poor IP. It, it keeps getting. It keeps selling badly. I wanted to get this, and I just never did. Uh, yeah, same. So I didn't get it. Uh, I, I haven't played this game. A lot of us haven't played, but I did play a little bit of Neo on PS4. All right. It's really good. That one, too. I, I completely intended on playing that game, and I just didn't. So, yeah. Um, just, I, what, what the fuck, Square? Why, why are you doing this to us? Uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE... No, it's Sharp F. Yeah, so I gotta say the title right. It's uh, Tokyo on, Mirage yeah. Sessions Sharp F E Encore. I'm not kidding, guys. You pronounce the the sharp symbol as sharp, but uh. Was well, this in your list of my of the worst video game titles? Yeah. Yes, it was. But I mean, not the Encore version, even though it's whatever. Uh, I did. I never played this one. I I don't even think I ever played the the original version. But neither uh, have I. Slash, have you? No, I haven't. So, yeah, there. Triangle Strategy. I didn't play this game, although I heard it was... I heard mixed things. I heard some people said it, that it was really good. Some people said it was mid. No one said it was bad, but... Yeah, uh, any of you guys play this one? I did try the free demo, honestly. I, I'm just going to put having played because I can't really say too much, but... Mm, I don't think it's really as much of my type of a game as it is with other Square's other properties. If you were to give it a tier, where would you put it? Mm, maybe a C, likely. Okay. Uh, unless Slash... Slash you got... No. Okay. I feel like the name is probably... Like, the name is probably what stopped a lot of people from getting it. I'm not sure. So, like, they could have come... Wait, what... Was it this... This was what? also on my list. <laughs> Look at that. Two... Two... The two games... Two of my worst video game titles in a row here. But, uh... Yeah, the... the, the this seemed. I thought this was like a sequel to Octopath Traveler, but similar. And then they announced a sequel to Octopath Traveler. Funny enough, but yeah. Uh, the, by the way, if you guys are wondering, the sequel to Octopath Traveler, you know, Octopath Traveler Two is not on here because it's not a Switch exclusive. It uh, didn't launch. It, the The first one launched exclusively on Switch. The, uh, the sequel didn't. Weirdly enough, 
uh, the the P the, the first one came eventually came to Xbox, and then the second one came to PS came to PlayStation, but like and Xbox, Steam too. Yeah, that's well, they all, both came to Steam, but I'm just saying Xbox is not the first place I would associate RPGs with. In fact, PlayStation it, that game's more at home. Whatever, I'm getting off topic. Uh, Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers, or whatever it's called. This is like the You're fucking right. the fucking 17th Street Fighter 2 game. 17th really sub Street Fighter 2. Let's go. And uh hey, all right, it's a so... sol- it's a fairly fine game. I don't, I barely remember fairly this. fine. I am, I'm I'm a big Street Fighter fan, but I don't really remember playing this one too much. I, I have a more know. vivid memory, so yeah, I can right. go for you with this one. Yeah, you're the fighting all right. efficient. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> okay, so with this one, I'll be honest, it is kind of in a sense a port of Super Turbo Ishi Remix, which came out on PS3 and 360 in 2008. But I mean, this one was not done by Digital Eclipse or Backbone. This one was done by Capcom in house. I mean, it's good, but the inputs do feel slightly off, and the bonus mode, which was the way of the Hado, like the VR mode where you did the Hadoukens with the Joy-Cons, it was not very good, so... But for the game itself, I would probably have to maybe give it a B. I mean, it's it's exclusive to Switch at the same yeah. time. Yeah, that's why it's on here. Yeah. Um... Next up, a game I wanted to get because WarioWare sells pretty badly, but I just never got it. And I'm part of the problem, I guess. WarioWare, get it together! Uh, like We're I said, all part I of the problem. Yeah, uh, I'm assuming none of us got it. Well, I did play the demo with friends, like, but if I were to really play it, I would have played through the story. But just from the demo, it was fine. My friends were confused because they never played this shit before except me. All right, slash. At least they put... All right, slash go. Fuck, I'm sorry. No, 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 finish it. No, you're fine. All right, you're fine. Talking. Just at least they put Mega Micro Games on Switch Online plus Expansion yeah. Pass. It still slaps. I beat slash. it in an hour. Yeah, slash, have you uh, played this game? We're all part of the problem. Yeah. Well, Greg, you played the demo, so where would if you were to give it a tier, where would you put it? B tier, honestly. Okay. Um. Next up, we got a bunch of Xenoblade games. We got. We'll that would have Z- been perfect, honestly. We got. Uh, we'll start with Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I think A. This is a really good like re-release. I I thought it was a remake, but it's a simple remaster, which is bullshit. But uh, it is a simple remaster, and they added like they added a whole new story chapter to it. That's really cool. Yeah, and, ML told me he's playing through it right now. Yeah, it's really good. Um, anyone thoughts? It's S tier, not S tier, hang on, fuck. It's the tier you put it in, I, I'm not watching at the moment, I'm sorry. A, yeah. A. Alright, um... Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I, nev- I never owned it, but I have played it, and I know quite a bit of the story, and it's not that, it, it's a little overrated, but also, like, people like to hate on this game. I guess it's just fun to hate on Xenoblade, because it's anime, and the fans are a little weird but uh yeah they are i have a mutual who did some weird shit and he's like oh i'm going off of twitter until like oh this month honestly i want to going off of what i know i want to give it a c but i feel like that's a little harsh i don't know anyone object just just i guess do be to not piss off anyone who's really like a hardcore fan oh no do it for that reason that yeah yeah <laughs> we, we, we don't we don't care if we piss <laughs> anyone off all right, well, I mean, fuck it. Watched, see if, it is. Honestly, <laughs> if they've watched this far into the video just to see where Xenoblade ra- ra- like, it, they yeah, deserve it. Yeah, thanks for it. the like, view. <laughs> and thanks for the retention being not until a lot later into the video, wherever the fuck that works. But uh, next up, we're still not done with Xenoblade. This is weird. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torna the Golden Country. The reason why this is separate, um, it's weird. This is like a DLC like chapter or whatever but like you can like it was sold physically you can play this without you can like buy this game without owning the base game but i never played it and i also don't have an opinion on this one either of you got an opinion on this one oh but it sounds like a whole case of new super luigi u to me 
Yeah, it's kind of so similar to that. Slash, you have an opinion on this? No, not really. Alright. Uh, and also, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 I have not played. Although, I have, I did want to play this one. Because uh, I hear it's a lot better than 2. But... Yeah, I haven't played it. Any of you guys play this one? I just gotta get around. I just gotta get around to the series in general. Period. <laughs> yeah. Slash. Um. Lead the way. All right. I haven't played. All right, four games left to go. Holy shit. Yoshi's Crafted World. I have not played this <laughs> one, but from what I've heard, it's kind of it kind of has the Kirby problem. Too easy. Should not be sixty dollars. But uh, I'm I haven't played it. Either of you play this one? Demo only, honestly, but I can't really say too much more. So I guess all of us could say haven't played for the most part. Slash, have you played this one? No, sir. So, Greg, if you were to give this a tier... Oh, no. Just call Ant Sam. Right yeah, now. Call Ant Sam. I, I don't think <laughs> he... But played, he won't do it. I don't think he played this I, one. Ironically, because Yoshi is his favorite character. No, I don't think he played this one. But, Greg, if you were to give this a tier, where would you give it? <laughs> Honestly, honestly, I honestly give it a C. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, based on what I know. I mean, correct. I mean, it's a bit more difficult than Star Allies. It has like a Sesame Street style vibe, but it's fun for what it is at the end of the day. So yeah. Um. Now we get now, to the home stretch. Series. The Zelda. Zelda. Games. Link's Awakening. This I think might be. Uh, I I I originally had this on my list of the best Switch games of all time, but that was a while ago. I think A, this is a pretty solid remake with a nice, cutesy, Very. clay looking art style and modern. The art style is what kind of sold me. It looks like the Game Boy, like the sprites when yeah, you think about it. Yeah, modernized the game and, like I said, it added that, uh, the Dungeon Maker. Not just that, I, the cutscenes were pretty cool. Like, I remember when they yeah. first revealed this during the direct, I was like, it, they, they're remaking this, aren't they? It looked amazing. Yeah, so, uh, we all agree on A. Yes. yes, sir. Slash, have you played this game? No, but I'm agreeing anyway. Okay. Skyward Sword HD. I did not get this one because... I'll, I'll go for you, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Greg? Or wait, wait, before Pardon you... Me. Wait, wait, Greg, before you go, what Slash, have you played it? Um, no. No? Okay. All right. Although it's on I me. wish I did. So, in my opinion, honestly, B tier. Okay. Want to explain? It, it does retain a lot of like the same issues, I guess, for the Wii version with motion controls, but then again, it is optional. But if you're not playing with the motion controls, like the style for a Zelda game is really unorthodox because you're using the right control stick to, you know, maneuver Link's sword. Alright. Yeah, this was, I guess that was like the main draw to this game, right? Like, just the motion controls being fixed yeah and then yeah but even so it was still controversial with the control stick because it felt a little unorthodox yeah. but yeah um i still i still find it like obnoxious that they uh locked a fast travel uh feature behind an amiibo and they and it's worth 25 dollars they like, price the amiibo bruh. higher than like amiibos are cost like what but yeah um, i knew what they were doing disappointing yeah that um, part uh and last but absolutely not least we got breath of the wild and we can all agree that this movie is our very first f tier movie. i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> this is our movie. s did i say movie yeah oh my god <laughs> bro this is like the I ai all over again you're the you're the uh, ai you're holy shit dead. it's an s <laughs> tier all right and what can we say oh, about this game that hasn't been said already? It's, it's when this game came out, like there was nothing like it. You know, this was this this game like revolutionized open world games. And it's very one thing I noticed as well. There are obviously Zelda clones out there, games that are inspired by Zelda. But then there are other games out there that you can see are like Breath of the Wild clones. And you know, and it's almost like a new genre of open world, you know, Sonic Frontiers is often compared to Breath of the Wild, you know what I mean, because that's like, because it's an open world game similar to Breath of the Wild, and it's, what can I say about this game that hasn't been said already? Slash, Greg, you have anything to say about this one? 
the first game we got with my Switch on launch day. Abs absolutely perfect way to start off the console's lifespan. Yeah. I cannot wait for Tears, honestly, even though it's $70, but that debate's another story with the price. Hey, hey, if Mario Strikers can be 60 Zelda should be 70 <laughs> There, no, in, no world, in no world should Zelda be valued at the same price as Mario fucking Strikers, at least the new, the newest game. Yeah, I mean, if you're talking the old ones, that's a different story. But, 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 but. Slash, uh, thoughts on Breath of the Wild? Uh, Zelda. Zelda, Zelda good. Yeah, Zelda good. Um, so yeah, that is our tier list of the, of every Nintendo Switch exclusive, or at least, like, timed exclusive, or games that are, like, most associated with the Switch. You know what it is. Uh, this is the definitive tier list, by the way. All right, this is surprisingly no F tier. Wow. Even though we haven't played certain games, it's still definitive. Well, I mean, like, it's definitive Fuck. from from here on up. Yeah, I think it's interesting that how there's no F tier. Like, uh, uh, I mean, like the Switch exclusives. There has not been one to really be like god awful. You know what I mean? Um, How about Joe's Diner. No, that's PS4 exclusive. Uh, but I mean, like. Mario Strikers, like the fact that I can see going. I I I know we said if there's nothing else in F tier, we'll put Mario Strikers. Didn't we said something about a, about what? What I just said. We said something. Yeah, you're. Mm -mm, yeah. Uh, That's what you just said. Like I know we said that if there's nothing else in F tier, we'll put Mario Strikers in F tier. But like I don't think. I think that's a little harsh on Mario. I I don't think F tier is correct for Mario Strikers, but um, yeah, this is um, our tier list. Uh, I actually think this is a pretty good tier list. I think this yeah, this I don't have many issues with this one. I I, I would put uh, I would put 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury in S and uh, I would put I, I me personally because I'm not a, that big of a Pokemon fan, I wouldn't put these Pokemon games that high. But that's just me not being that big of a fan. Uh, other than that, I think this is a this is a really solid. And honestly, I think one two switch. I had a lot of fun with that. I would put that in C. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty solid tier list. Uh, slash Greg, any final changes you want to make? It looks about right to me. All right. That's um. Pikmin 4, uh, let's load up S tier for Pikmin 4. <laughs> That's when it comes out in July. Yeah. The second it comes out, re upload the video with Pikmin yeah. 4. Yeah, happy birthday to the Switch. And, uh, so it's still crazy that, to believe that that was six years ago. But, yeah, anyways, yeah, thanks for six watching. Six years was different. Uh, Greg, and, uh, anything you'd like to plug? So, from the video be my channel and for my channel should be my socials instagram private still just for safety reasons twitter twitch new projects in the works stay tuned i know like quarter one is going to be done soon but i hope to put something out very soon all right slash uh where can people find you uh, anything you like to plug um what the fuck just happened okay um you can find me at captain Caesar. um yeah, fuck you if you like Pokemon. I hate you. Totally not a Pokemon fan. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Alright, and uh, of course you can subscribe to me, DPX Solo. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram. And uh, you can follow and subscribe everyone in the description. And sure. we'll be back soon with another episode. Uh, and okay. yeah, see you guys. Bye. Happy gaming, happy birthday, Switch. <laughs>